Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well it's a Valentine's Day when I film this and I'm here today to try my new palette that I got from my husband for Valentine's Day and it's the new Tarte, Tartlet Juicy palette. I think it's uh, the name Amazon, Amazonian Clay the Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, this outside packaging and this is how the palette looks. It's stunning. It's a very, very beautiful palette. The big mirror in here, which is amazing. I love the mirror. If you can see here, these are the shades. So I'm going to create a nice romantic makeup look with this palette. I'm going to try it out. It smells wonderful. I like the scent. It kind of feels coconut chocolatey. Uh, I love the mirror in here and I really like this palette and I'm excited to have it. So I'm going to create a nice romantic makeup look so if you want to see that then please keep on watching. Okay so I usually go for more colorful makeup looks but I w really wanted this palette because I've seen people really liking it. It just arrived to Sweden. I think it's today's Sunday when I film this it's Valentine's Day the 14th but I think it came the 12th to Sweden so I'm happy that my husband got his hands on this palette because it's sold out right now in the Sephora where I live. But Let's just go in, I won't talk for long. I'm going to, of course, go for the, these more pink shades. So for my crease, I do want to go in with the Blossom, this shade here. And this mirror doesn't go all the way down, which uh, now I can't see really the shades properly, but it doesn't bother me. I think I have a s one palette, a smaller palette that I got from my sister for my birthday last year and from Tarte Cosmetics and I do have this also glittery shade here that I use sometimes uh, but otherwise I don't own these kind of big palettes from Tarte so I'm kind of excited to have this one. This is very soft, it's almost like my natural skin color. I already primed my eyes with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer and I also use the setting setting powder to set everything. So this you can't really see on my eyes a lot. Uh, it just kind of, I don't know, creates a nice soft pinkish look. I do want to go in with rose, this shade up here in my crease and a little bit above. The same place where I just applied this first shade. This is more uh, color. You know, this one you can't see better. You can see better on my eyes. It's a beautiful shade. This is perfect palette for everyday makeup looks. It's perfect palette for weddings and really that nice soft. This is blending beautifully, seamless. This is a beautiful shade. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm going to switch to another blending brush. This is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. The first one I had is from Linda Halbert 305. Or 304 and this one is from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh, 33 pa 3, 33 can't speak today and I think I want to go with petal this shade here in my crease this is blending very nice I'm just going to deep up my crease a little bit So it's a little bit powdery, but it doesn't bother me at all. Never, never actually bothers me if eyeshadows are powdery. Not even subculture that so many people don't like. I didn't have problem with that. It's actually one of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. This just made it a little bit deeper. Really pretty. But I do want to go deeper, so... I am going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go into this shade here, Luscious, Luscious, can't really pronounce it, this one here. It looks to be like it has, it's matte but it looks like it has a little bit of glitters in there. I don't think 
can't see it on my eyes though, but in the pan. And I'm going to put this also, work it into the crease, just to dip it up a little bit more. But I'm not going to go, you know, higher, just the crease. Oh, this palette smells so good. I'm going to use a flat brush and this is from Linda Harbour 305 and I'm going to pack this Dream Chaser, this shade here and see if it will show. Yeah, it's showing up. Uh, I do have a little bit of fallout. This is going on nice with the brush, but I think I'm going to go in with the finger. Yeah. That's really nice. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Orchid, Orchid, and can't pronounce it, the shade next to it, which is the second shade from this side. And I'm going to go in with my finger. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to go in this Paradise shade here. And kind of try to go back and forward to fix this, fix this shade. So it has a nice transition. That's kind of cute. I'm going to clean the fallout. It's not really just the fallout. I actually applied a lot of eyeshadow when I was pressing it with the finger. This looks very nice. I don't feel like the camera does it justice because it's more beautiful in just blending without any eyeshadow a little bit up here and I do want to go deeper so I'm going the, on the edges I am going to go in with euphoric I think it's called the darkest shade in this palette with a smaller brush and just you know go in the corners here just a little bit to dip it up Beautiful palette for the weddings or for romantic makeup looks. It's just a stunning palette for that. Going to back and forward with the shade that I had in the crease, you know, just building it up a little bit and blending. Going back and forward with the shades that we had or without adding more shade. Just blending everything. I had mascara this morning uh, when I was going to store very early before anybody else <laughs> trying to avoid a lot of people and i just applied a little bit of mascara and it transformed down here so i have a hard time removing it this makeup looks look really nice i'm going to go and um, finish my face because i want to review a new primer that will also come on my channel so i'm going to go do that say, in another video but uh, i'll be back to finish the makeup look see you soon Okay guys, so I finished the rest of my makeup on my face. My hair is like a mess, but I wanted to let in a little bit of uh, natural lights, natural light, but look at the sun right now on my forehead. Just a second. So this is better now. You can see a little bit light up here. I hope it's okay. I'm going to set everything and I'm going to use the veil primer. I forgot to set my face. Okay, so I just applied a new kind of, um, take a clean sponge, just dab this in. I'm trying out a new primer, face primer that is coming up on my channel. But right now, this makeup looks really beautiful. It's very natural, stunning, I like it. I'm going to finish it, let's finish it. Let's come closer, let's finish the makeup look. 
On my lips, I do have, let me say, Reali, Realder, can't pronounce this is the brand. It's like birthday edition shade. It's called birthday edition, birthday edition. And I also have Huda Beauty Silk Balm in blush on top. And let's go on my face. I do have Catrice uh, foundation and I also have the new primer. And also for the blush, I do have this blush palette and um, something else. Tarte Mascara, Wispy Lashes, Adele. Let's go for the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I do want to go in with Petal, this shade here. I just had it all over under my lower lash line. And I also have the Tarte's eyeliner. I'm bad at applying eyeliner, especially because I have hooded eyes. I can never, doesn't matter what kind of, how I tried to create a wing, I never succeeded. So I don't usually have, or I never have a wing. I do want to apply something more because this looks stunning. That's really cute. I like that. I am actually going to go in with Another shade, I'm going to use the shade we had that it's called Luscious, 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 just on one side here to connect upper and lower lash line. And then I'm going to go and take a smaller brush because I'm going to go in with this, uh, I think, Water Lily, Lily, the first shade up here. I'm going to go in with that shade and apply it here on the corner. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's cute. Open my eyes a little bit more. That's final look. This is the final look with this palette. I really like this palette. I think it's beautiful palette for romantic makeup looks. It looks stunning. Um, I don't have any texture like this. I know people kind of compare this to Charlotte Tilbury. It's not like metallic, metallic eyeshadows. But let me just swatch this shade that I used and maybe uh, this one that I haven't used. They are easy to use with maybe a wet brush or with your finger, but it just gives you that nice soft look. I don't know what it is, but it's very beautiful palette. It will allow you to create many beautiful makeup looks and I really am happy to have it in my collection. And I, like I said, I got it from my, from my husband in a Valentine, like a Valentine's Day gift and I really, really like it, really enjoy it. So guys, let me know down below if you try this palette or what's your favorite palette from Tarte Cosmetics. I think this is a stunning palette, definitely going to create more makeup looks. Let me know down below if you want to see that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.